Hello Techies, welcome to Microsoft Power Automate Desktop Tutorials. In the previous module, we learned how to download and install Power Automate Desktop application. Now, in this module, we will have a quick look of Power Automate Desktop application. Let's open Power Automate Desktop application by double clicking on that. First of all, we need to provide our sign in details. Over here, you can see sign in into Microsoft Power Automate Desktop. Click on sign in to enter into the Power Automate Desktop. Click on that. Over here, it will ask your credentials to log in into the Microsoft Power Automate Desktop. So previously, we have used the same credentials which we have seen for the flow.microsoft.com. The same credentials we'll use over here with the subscription for the Power Automate Desktop. All right. Please provide your sign-in detail, your email ID and password over here and click on next. Once you logged successfully into the Power Automate desktop, on your left hand side you will find new flow and also you will find the flows over here. But over here, if you see, I have not created any flow. I have just opened this Power Automate desktop as a freshly, right? Now, to go over through this one, what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a new flow by clicking on the new flow. Click on that. And here you can see, build a flow by using this Power Automate desktop. I'm going to give the flow name as sample flow. Okay, and then I'm going to create by clicking on the create button, click on that. You can see over here, under the flows, you will find the new flow. Double click on that to open the flow designer. Once you click on the UI flow, another window has been opened. This is nothing but flow designer. Okay, now over here, I'm going to divide this flow designer into three parts. One, the left, center, and the right. On the left hand side, you can find the action pan. And the center one will call it as flow designer workspace or the workspace. On the right hand side, we will call it as the variables pan over here. And also on the topmost, you will have menu bar. And after that you are having, you can see over here, web recorder, desktop recorder you are having. Along with that, if you see on my right hand side, you are having UI elements and images also. So we will talk about each and every pan over here for a time over here. All right, first of all, we'll start with the actions pan. This action pan, we are having more than 370 plus of actions, which includes a number of actions under the web automation as well as the Windows applications. If you see over here, by doing this, all these actions, everything is drag and drop over here. You can go ahead and you can drag and drop every action onto the workspace or the de flow designer workspace you can go ahead and you can drag and drop it this is the beautiful feature which we are having and you can see for every action like you know if you want to connect with the excel you can go ahead and you can get the actions from the excel if you're going to work with the database or emails exchange outlook and what not, all the actions are predefined over here and each and everything you, you are here, just going to drag and drop onto the workspace over here. All right, now we'll talk about the main workspace. If you see over here, this center one will call it as a workspace, where you are going to design your UI flows over here, you are going to drag and drop all your actions over here. Okay, if you see over here, again, we are having two things over here. One is main, another one is subflows. So whatever the design you are going to do, you are going to start with the main UI flow. And later on, if, you're going, if you have any kind of subflows, you can go ahead and you can create in the subflows by adding over here by clicking on the, that is nothing but plus symbol over here so that you can add a subflows for the main flows by giving the names over here. All right. Now, we will talk about the variable span. If you see over here, this is nothing but function symbol you can see over here. This on the total right hand side, you will find the function symbol. Just click on that one. You will get the variable pan over here. Over here, what you can do, this variable pan shows the input and output variables that you are going to pass it to the 
particular flow from the Power Automate desktop. It also displays the variables which you have been used for the current flow. It will show it over here by using the variable pan. Okay, now we'll go ahead with the UI elements. So if you see the UI elements, if you're going to add any kind of UI elements, nothing but user interface elements. So for the particular application, you can go ahead and you can find it all the UI elements over here. Now we'll talk about the images. If you have, if you want to capture any images by using this pan, you can go ahead and you can get all the images over here. Okay, all right. Now let me close this. Now we'll talk about the main menu bar. Let's click on file. You can, if you want to save the flow by clicking on the save, you can go, you can save the flow. Edit. If you want to edit any existing flow, then you can edit it or else clear selection, invert this selection and all the features you can go ahead and you can select it. Now, if you want to debug this flow, then you are going to select the option debug from the menu bar. From here, whenever you are having, you can go ahead and you can run the flow or else you can skip from one step to another step by using run next action or else you can pause the action, you can stop the action. All right, now the tools we can see, what the same tools which we have for the web recorder and the desktop recorder, we can get it in the tools itself. Now we'll talk about the web recorder and the desktop recorder. Once you click on the web recorder, what will happen? It will ask you to specify the web browser instance to use it. Now, if you see, I'm having, it will support Microsoft Edge, Chrome, Firefox, Internet Explorer. And if you have any kind of advanced over here, and you can see over here, web browser instance, you can go ahead and you can give the name like Opera and all these things, you can specify the name and you can pick the tab also, which tab you want to specify it. Okay, all right, this kind of, uh, you know, after specifying the browser, you can go ahead and you can record step by step of the web recorder by using this web recorder. All right. Now, in the same way, desk recorder also, if you see, it will record each and every action like mouse and key buttons. It will record each and everything when you click on start recording. And then if you want to reset the entire recording, you can go ahead and you can reset it over here by using this desktop recorder. All right, let me go ahead, let me close it. Now, if you see, we are having one more feature that we are having search and action. And over here, there are two search over here. One is you will find it under the actions, another one search inside the flow. By using the search actions, what you can do, you can search for anything. Let us assume if I want to search for the Excel actions. Once you click on, once you type Excel, then what you will find, you will find all the actions related to the Excel. You can see under the advanced that there is a lot of actions are available to run the Excel macros or what, what not to do with the Excel. All the actions are noted down or filtered over here in the action pan. And you can see all the actions which are very user friendly and you don't want to write any kind of code. This is nothing but low code automation. All right, now here you can see one more search inside the flow. That is nothing but whatever, if you want to search inside the flow, you can go ahead and you can simply search for the particular action inside the flow. You can go ahead and you can search it. Now, let me just go ahead and just let me drag and drop one of the action onto my workspace by just drag and drop. This is going to be simplifying your work. So you are going to be getting all the actions, whatever related to your work by just doing drag and drop, you can get all your actions over here. Now, if you want to save it, I'm just taking get all Excel worksheets. I'm just going to save this action over here on my workspace. Okay, now if you see, if you have any errors related to that, there's the pan called errors pan, right? So over here, you can see all the errors at the bottom side. So this is nothing but error pan where you will get detailed information about the errors. Now, if you see in the main, I'm having one action and there I can find the error cannot be empty. Let's double click on the error and then it will give the detailed information where the location is, what exactly the reason this error message is. All right, let me close this for the time being. 
I hope we have covered each and every pan over there in the Flow UI Designer as part of Power Automate Desktop application. I hope you understand the different different pans that were available in the Power Automate Desktop application. Thank you for watching Microsoft Power Automate tutorials. If you have any queries related to this concept, please post them in the comment section. Your feedback is very valuable to us. Once again, thank you. I will see you in the next session. Till then, bye bye. Have a nice day.